Hello, Pure Country family. Megan Patrick here, and um, I, uh, I'm, I'm taking on a new role today, which is pretty cool, um, because I have the absolute pleasure of interviewing and introducing to you my, my Canadian family. One of the best things coming out of Nashville, well, technically originally out of Louisiana, but now coming out of Nashville, um, this is one of my best friends in the world, and she is an absolute star, Miss Lainey Wilson. Well, Dad, you're making me blush. <laughs> Gee, um, what an introduction. It's like you practiced that or something. Oh, girl, I've been practicing. Absolutely. I, I wanted to take this very seriously. I mean, I'm talking to like a real celebrity, so, you know, I just really wanted to. <laughs> okay, joking, joking aside, though, I have to say, guys, as part of this introduction, uh, so Lainey was actually one of my very first friends in town, her and her roommate, Casey Tindall. Um, I literally met them the very first night in, I was in Nashville, the day that I drove down with my truck and moved. And um, we became friends just right away. And I, I very quickly discovered that somehow I lucked out and ended up meeting two of the coolest girls in town that were super talented. <laughs> And a lot of people had a lot of respect for them and, and really looked up to them and, and saw them as, you know, really kind of the, the top shelf of songwriters and artists. And so I felt very lucky I got to become friends with you guys. And um, now I'm just so excited to see all, everything you have going on. And now that you're coming to Canada, I know they're going to love you. I've been I've been Woo! singing your praises there for a long time. So um give us a quick little like background of where you came from and what you got going on right now and you, you probably got my story memorized by now but I, i'll give it to the people pretty much yeah you, you it's way but it's way more charming when you say it with the accent so <laughs> what accent Look, yeah <laughs> and this girl got into a fight on my instagram page the other day because she was talking about my accent i was like you can talk about anything else but don't talk bad about my accent. Yes. And also just side note for our listeners, this is a regular occurrence for Lainey. People ask her all the time if her accent is real and it is real. I can tell you from the second I met her, she, she has not changed or sound any less redneck than she does right now. <laughs> the entire it would time be way too me. much energy and effort. Can you imagine trying to sound this way? Yeah, I can imagine when I make do impressions of you. I mean, it's a lot of work. <laughs> And you got you talk so slow and you put all of these extra uh, uh, syllables on all your things. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And y'all, just so you know, Megan starts hanging out with me for a little while. She kind of starts sounding like me. So true. I, I definitely I get a little twangy for sure. Her and Casey are two of the most southern people I've ever met in my life. And so I, you know, I, I get I I have some Canadian friends that call me out on it sometimes. It's not intentional. It's just when you are around people that sound like this all the time, you can't help it. I will tell you, we might sound the countryest, but you are probably the countryest person I know. <laughs> I'm That's the nicest thing like, you've ever said to me. Like, you talk about a Canadian redneck. I didn't even know that was a thing until I met you, and I was like, all right. <laughs> That's exactly what you are. I love you. Well, so, Lainey, okay. so you're from Louisiana. Uh, so you're from Louisiana, right near Mon Monroe. That's right. I'm from a little town of 300 people called Baskin. Um, and yeah, I've, I've been in Nashville since August of 2011. Whoo. Hey, now real quick, it. tell the people when you moved to Nashville, what was your living situation? I moved up here in a Flagstaff bumper pool camper trailer and I was known as the camper trailer girl, which I think that's also why me and you hit it off pretty much right off the bat is because yep. you also had a camper of your own and I was mm -hmm. like all right this girl gets it it's my trailer girl. I mean I didn't I didn't live in it but I did spend a lot of time in it I mean that that's like to me that's like pretty serious like country street cred when you when you literally got your start living out of a trailer that's that's pretty country <laughs> you know, I'm glad to be out of it now but I will tell you like looking looking back on it I don't think I would change any of it just because at least it taught me this wasn't going to be easy. And if anybody understands yeah. that you do, I mean, yeah. this is a freaking journey and it is about the ride yeah. and a lot of ups and downs and, but yeah. things are feeling good now. 10 years yes, later. <laughs> I want to talk about, um, 
Okay, so talk about some of the, you know, we talked about the trailer. Talk about some of the things, maybe some of the like crappy jobs you had to work, some of the things you had to kind of go through to get to where you're at, to chase the dream, because it is not it is not always pretty and it's not always fun and it's certainly not always easy. And I think you know what I'm hinting at. So but why don't you tell us? <laughs> you know, right before I even get started on this topic, if you type my name into Google, Lainey Wilson, the first thing that pops up after is Hannah Montana. So it is. <laughs> yes, it's Lainey Wilson, Hannah Montana. So I'll tell the people. I tell the people. Hannah Montana for five years. That was my my job. I did three or four birthday parties, a weekend fairs, festivals. The last place I did was St. Jude, but. Every now and then, they would let Lainey Wilson open up for Hannah Montana. Sometimes they'd be like, who's Lainey Wilson? <laughs> like, it's me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did that for five years. And then I, I played with this uh, a band in the Arklamas area, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, called the Cadillac Kings. And then finally decided at 19, if I'm going to really do this thing, I need to be here. So, yeah. but, um, yeah, that was the most that's the strong besides my daddy making me work around the farm every day of my entire life and just mm -hmm. scooping mm -hmm. up a horse crap um Hannah Montana was <laughs> <laughs> I, I I just feel like you know if if there's anything you know it's a lesson in humility and just hard work it's it's like shoveling horse crap and, and and working in barns. I mean, I've I've baled hay before. It is not for the faint of heart, especially. I mean, I know how hot it was baling hay in Canada in the summer. I don't want to know what that's like in Louisiana oh with that with that heat and that uh, humidity. But you've definitely uh, paid your dues for sure. We've all had embarrassing jobs. I well, not embarrassing. Sorry. I guess just like less than glamorous jobs. I mean, no shame in whatever you had to do to get here. I used to sort empties at the beer store. So, you know, that was, and I also waitress and bartended yeah. and I used to busk on street corners, you know, so no. sometimes people thought I was homeless. I was like, no, just really broke and a musician. Oh, I do <laughs> have trust home, me. Though. People ask me, they were like, well, what part of town do you live in? And I'm like, oh, I, I live in West Nashville. They're like, oh, you got an apartment out there? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, you got a house out there? And I'm like, no. And they're like, where do you live? I was like, I live in a camper trailer. They're like, like a tent? I'm like, absolutely like not. But I, honestly, I would, then I would have done whatever I needed to do just because if anybody also understands this, you do, mm -hmm. you want mm -hmm. it so bad. So bad. There is nothing gonna stop you from it. I want to talk about your new record. Um, I know now. I know as an artist, like putting out a record is such a huge deal. I mean, not just from the you know the business side of things, but I mean that is like it's to me. I look at records as like kind of a snapshot of you in time and where you're at as an artist, as a songwriter, where you're at in your life with your relationships and your feelings and how you express them musically. Cause I think every record is a little bit different. You always stay you, but every record is like a new snapshot of a new place you're at in life. Yep, so absolutely. if you, if you could take a couple words yep. and, and use as descriptions as to where, what this snapshot is, what would you call this sure. record? Oh, shoot. Well, definitely the first word is growth. I mean, just from, you know, even the things that I've, I want, I want to see growth in everything that I do, but for sure this, just even, just like, of course, singing, and songwriting, and all that, you know, production, Jay Joyce did it, but yes. not just that, but just like the things that I'm writing about, I feel like, um, you know, being vulnerable is also showing growth. And mm -hmm. um, this record truly is like who I am, what I want to say, how I want to say it, that, that what I believe in, and it's just really, for me, kind of setting the foundation of, um, you know, just the beginning. Yeah. Tell me, so tell me a little bit, we've talked about this before, because I mean, Jay, Jay Joyce, uh, for those of you who don't know, to give you, just to give you a little information, Jay Joyce has been the producer on a lot of Eric Church's records. He's, he's produced so many huge artists. He is definitely you know, when I moved to town, he was sort of like a bucket list producer for me. And I, and I know for you as well, what was that experience like working with him in the studio, like creatively, like what was the, the process like? How did you guys cut the record? It, really crazy. I mean, before I went over there, everybody told me they were like, he's super intimidating. He wears a black trench coat and lights his <laughs> cigarettes on a toaster. So I'm like, oh my God, what have I signed up for? 
But That's amazing. We, really, yeah, we like we hit it off, and he really is a dang mad scientist because yeah. he would walk up to people's guitars and just like untune them a little bit because <laughs> he didn't want it to be perfect. And you're sitting yeah. there thinking like, what's this man doing? But <laughs> like I said, he's not trying to be perfect and neither am I. And I think that's really why it worked. And yeah. um, he just, he's like, I'm telling you, like he like throws it all in a, in a bucket and like mixes it up somehow. And it, mm -hmm. it sounds like it's going to be absolutely insane. And then it comes out yeah. just a piece of art. And I um, agree. He's I just, think the songs he, sound amazing. I think they sound like you too. I think he's so well captured your essence and who you are as an artist because there's so many layers to you and you know let me just tell you guys you know because I'm introducing Lainey here I mean I anytime somebody asks me who do you who would you put your money on if you could bet all your money on somebody making it I she's the first name that that comes to mind because this is truly the full package guys I mean in terms of songwriting and and singing and artistry and playing and just I mean everybody in Nashville, you know, we all collaborate, we, we all write songs and, and co-write, so to speak, you know, we have, you know, we're picking up little bits and pieces from different writers. But let me tell you, when you hear a song that Lainey wrote, I can hear her personality and her writing style all over it. I mean, what you hear really does come from her. This is not her just feeding off, you know, big writers in town, because she does write with big writers in town. But I think anybody who's ever been in a room with her and written with her knows that, you're really sh hearing her shine through in these songs. So, I, I mean, I just think this, it's so important. Country is, has been through so many transformations over the last few years. And I, I've never really been a, a, a super stickler kind of person like this is country or this isn't country because I just love great music and creativity, whatever package it comes in. But I really do think this music is is everything country should be and and the direction country should be headed in because it's there's a lot of great traditional aspects it, it's real heartfelt you have that story telling aspect but there's also that new edge to it and that that's something to it that makes it very uniquely you and i think you and jay did a really great job of of capturing that in the production as well Girl, my lord you like i was tearing up over here i forgot we're on a zoom honestly i was like I mean, listen, I, I mean it because, you know, I, I really, we have such great, amazing, loyal fans in country music and, you know, radio helps to get the new music to us. So if I can say anything, Canadian radio, you're going to want to get this girl on the airways because she's going to blow up and you want to be one of the first people in her corner. You guys are going to love um, this record. So we've got the record just came out, right? What, what is the name of the record? Tell the people. I am what I'm thinking. Same. Saying what I'm thinking. I mean, you know what? I was like, I've been pretty much saying what I'm thinking my whole life. So why not just name the record that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of like, that's how we actually decided everything that was going on the record. It was based off of, is it saying what I'm thinking? Whether it was yep. dirty looks or things a man ought to know or WWD. We mm -hmm. really just asked ourselves the question, is yep. this what I'm thinking? So it made it a really well, fun process. So for those of you that, if you don't follow Lainey, first of all, Lainey, tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Yes, Lainey Wilson Music on Instagram. I'm crazy on there. I'm on TikTok too. I've been TikToking. You've been, you've been um, killing the TikToks. By the way, guys, just so you know, L-A-I-N-E-Y is how you spell her name, Lainey Wilson. Megan is my and, translator. <laughs> I, well, people, as someone whose name gets regularly misspelled, so I always always say it. Thank you. But you you, you need to follow her. She's hilarious, um, especially if you can catch her socials on a weekend when Michelle is visiting. The two of them should have a reality show. Um, okay, well, I feel like I went way over time. I had, I had probably gave them way too much. Sorry, guys. Uh, pure country. Um, but ladies and gentlemen of Canada, you heard it here first um, with Pure Country. This is Lainey Wilson. She is going to be a big deal in country music. You're going to be hearing her name for a long time. She's got a new record out, uh, Saying What I'm Thinking, and also uh, Single Art Radio, which is things a man ought to know. So make sure you go follow her on all the social media. Go get that record. I promise you, like, truly, if you, if you can actually in good conscience call me or text me or message me and say that you don't like that record. I mean, I, I don't know. I'll 
I'll go run into on oncoming traffic because that's how sure <laughs> I am that, that you're going to love this record. It's phenomenal. Um, thank you, Lainey. I love you, girl. You. I can't wait I for Canada you. to get to know you and see you play some shows and hear your music. You guys I are going to do some together. Yes, absolutely. I, I love you. I'll did. call you later. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you later. Yeah, I'll, I'll have your people call my people and uh, let's drop a song. <laughs> okay. <laughs>